Hi, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Puzzle. Today, we will have a look at this puzzle here, which is called The Cake. It is part of the Hanayama Cast Puzzle series and was found or was released, I think, beginning of this year or end of last year. So it's uh, one of the newer ones out of this series. It was found by Bram Cohen, which is also known as the founder of the BitTorrent protocols. And it seems he's also interested in puzzling since he, he is the inventor of um, several puzzles of the Hanayama series. The puzzle comes in the usual Hanayama quality. It comes in this Hanayama box here, has a difficulty rating of four out of a maximum of six. And it consists out of four single parts. As usual for Hanayama, the target is to assemble all of these parts and reassemble them again. You can buy the, this puzzle all around the world, I think, in, uh, all, in several puzzle uh, shops. And I will put you the link in the description where you can buy it. How to solve the cast cake, I will show you after the spoiler break. Okay, so at first let's have a look at the puzzle itself. It contains a housing and three layers that can be rotated individually. When you hold it in your hand first time, it seems to be impossible to take these parts out because the free play is very low. There's nearly no way to get them, get them out. You can just rotate them. Well, the trick is about the position of these three layers. When you put them in a specific position, and which one this is, I show you right now, you will be able to get the upper part out. The position looks the following. I put the lower layer here flush to this edge. Then I continue with the middle layer and I put it here at the end of the cutout of the lower layer, which is somewhere here. And then I move back the upper layer in a position where it is, where the cutout is over here. In this position, all with the cake sign upwards, in this position I will now be able to push this one up and this one down. And um, in case you are not uh, able to um, push one up and one down like this, like now, this one is blocked, I can push this one down. You need to play a little bit here with the, with the two. Now the tolerances are quite tight and therefore you need to hit exactly the right position. In the end you need to have the position where you push this one down and this one up. And in this position, you can put push the upper layer down here and slide it out of the housing. So when I take all parts out, you can see these parts are completely identical. It's just the way how they position to each other and um, if they are in the correct position, you can take them out easily of the housing. To reassemble them, we're gonna just put in two pieces, which is quite easy. We position them in the same way as I explained before. The lower part flush to this edge, and the cutout of the upper part over here at the end of the cutout of the lower part. In this position we can push them down again. And then we will slide in here the upper part from the side and it might be necessary to shake it a little bit to get it in. Now it's in. So there is no force needed if you if the position is correct and we are back in the initial condition. 
This is how you solve the cast cake from Hanayama. Basically, I think it is a very nice puzzle. It is a unique solution. And the difficulty is not too difficult because when you see it for the first time, you notice pretty quick that this must have something to do with the positioning. And when you play around with these parts, you, you will notice um, in one position, especially in this one, that um, it must have something to do with aligning these parts in a way that you can yeah, twist them and take a part out. There is no other way or there are no other possibilities actually. And this is clear now, nearly right from the beginning. It's just about finding the right position. Anyway, it's not too easy. From my point of view, it's a three out of a maximum of five of my personal rating. So I agree to the Hanayama rating here with four out of a maximum of six. I will put you in the link in the description where you can buy this one. And um, as always, if you like this episode and interested to see more in the future, I appreciate if you give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel as well as to my Facebook page. You will find the link also in the description. And as always, if you have any questions, complaints, wishes, ideas, let me know in the comments. I will read all of them and answer most of them. And until next time, keep on puzzling.